What's up YouTube? Today I want to review a couple of products. Uh, one I've had for a while, one I recently bought during the whole quarantine situation. Um, I decided to do uh, kind of a quick review on both items since they're made by the same company and that is going to be the Bowflex Select 552 dumbbells and the Bowflex uh, I believe it's the 5.1 S bench. Hold on, let me make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, the Bowflex 5.1 S stowable bench is what that's called. Um, the reason why I want to actually do this this quick review, uh, it was more so of the bench, not the dumbbells, because the dumbbells have been out for a while. There's plenty of reviews on those online, but the bench is the one where I couldn't find certain information, so I said. When I get this bench, I want to do a quick video so I can show people what they're probably looking for when they research that particular item. But I'm going to start with the actual dumbbells themselves, the Select 552s. This summer will make uh, 10 years, and I'm actually going to try to put the camera more so on them. Um, this summer will make exactly 10 years that I've had these dumbbells. They have lasted me for a very long time, very sturdy, very durable. But I will say within the last couple of months, they have just started giving me problems. So in my opinion, to last 10 years to go that long without um, giving me any issues, I think they're definitely worth the price. But what's starting to happen is um, the, there's tiny little plastic pieces. And let me set the, the weight a little bit lower um, that hold each weight together. And I can't really show them on camera. I don't know if they're kind of more hidden in there somewhere but when it actually selects the weight there's um, some pieces in there that hold the weight in place and what happens is over time you know I don't drop my weights or slam them on the ground I put them down pretty gently and that's the reason for the stand and that's the reason why they've lasted this long but one particular day I was working out and they fell out of a chair I put them in a chair and they rolled out the chair and once they hit the ground those plastic pieces started to chip and break um, and it happened twice once it fell out the chair and the other time I accidentally just set them down too hard I didn't drop them I just accident I mean I just put them down a little bit harder than I normally would and it, it cracked and I don't know if that's because over time they just get brittle but when that starts to happen those little components inside of it now I'm not able to select every single weight category so I may be able to do let's say the 15s the 17 and a half but it may not select the 20 because those pieces are broken off and so because of that um, that's why I, I have to say that you know it's starting to give me problems now but it's been 10 years so even if they continuously break and start to break down I think I've gotten my money's worth um, after 10 years I got these when they kind of first came out or when they were more of a newer type of dumbbell back then these things were $500 because I still have the receipt for them I've seen these things as cheap as two fifty. I think um, on Bowflex the website they go for like maybe three thirty or something like that. But I've seen them on sale at Dick's Sporting Goods for as low as two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, so they're very good. I definitely recommend the stand to get with them because with the stand you don't have to put them down on the floor. You just put them back in place on the stand after you're done using them, and so that helps out a lot as well. Uh, so I do highly recommend them. But just know that what I just told you might happen to you if you drop them too hard or slam them on the ground or if they fall, there are pieces in there that could possibly break. Now, with that being said, I did call Bowflex and um, tried to see you know, what the warranty was or what they could do to help. And there's nothing they can do. It's been 10 years. They said, you know, of course it's out of warranty, but um, to replace these parts, these actual parts that hold the weights together, they said that they would charge me $75 each for each dumbbell. So that's $150 just to replace these parts which will allow me to select the weight well for 150 dollars and like i said i've seen these on sale brand new for 250 it to me this doesn't make sense to spend that kind of money on getting a new bar when i can just buy the whole brand the whole thing brand new for 250 once it goes back on sale now during quarantine times it has been crazy the gyms have been closed people who are die hard um you know, people people who are diehard gym fanatics and those who hit the gym a lot have been paying 
crazy ridiculous prices on these. I have seen these literally in Orlando. I, I go and offer up and I go and let go all the time. I've seen these. Now, the, the guy put $2,000 on there. I don't know if he actually got that much money for them, but these were averaging about $1,200 to $1,300 brand new um, with the stand. Now, it, it did get to a point where I started seeing $1,500, $1,600, and one guy, he posted $2,000, and it, it sold, and they were selling, like, selling out like the same day. People were just desperate to get their hands because they're sold out everywhere. You can't get them at... Dick's Sporting Goods, you can't get them on Bullflex, you can't get them at Academy Sports. Best Buy was even selling these at one point, they kept selling out. They are hard to get, and so um, people were paying ridiculous prices for these things just to be able to work out. And so, yeah, if, if I were you, wait this thing out. If you don't, you know, definitely don't pay anything more. Honestly, I wouldn't pay more than $500, you know, um, what I paid retail, but like I said, I've seen these go brand new as cheap as two fifty without the stand. The stand, you know, you probably got to add another hundred, hundred and fifty to that. But just the dumbbells and these things that the uh, the um, the things that they sit in, the stands that they sit in were uh, yeah, as cheap as two fifty. They also come with straps to actually strap them in in case you're moving them, and this stand actually rolls as well. So the select five fifty twos. They have the lowest weight of five pounds and they go up to 52 and a half pounds. And then there's another set of dumbbells that Bowflex makes that go up even higher in weight than that. And of course they're more expensive. And now they got another type of dumbbell where it's like a smart dumbbell that actually has an app to your phone and they're even more expensive. But overall, these are good. Um, I can't compare them to other dumbbells. I don't have the power blocks. I never used them. Um, some of the other uh, brands out there that have similar weight selective systems on it. So I can only compare it to these, but again, these have lasted me a decade and they're just now starting to give me some issues. So I highly recommend them. I would buy again if they continuously start to tear up. Um, I don't have a problem with them. Um, as far as use, I mean, you can do any exercise you want to with them. They're not bulky to the point where they just completely get in your way. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I use them uh, quite a bit and I've had them for quite a while. Now, with that being said, I have been trying to purchase a bench to go with these probably about two years after I got these. Back then, the bench I'm going to review today isn't, they didn't even have, this wasn't even out back then. I think back then the highest bench they had was a 3.0 or 3.1 bench or something, whatever the 3 was. Now they got a 4.1 or something and now they got the 5.1. Um, stowaway bench. So um, now a lot of people are probably thinking, you know, as far as uh, benches go, you know, a lot of people just don't want to pay a lot of money for a bench. A bench is a bench, right? You can go out there buy a Walmart bench, a Gold Gems bench, hundred bucks. I've seen them cheap as like, you know, a let go offer up for like fifty, slightly used, or forty dollars. Um, but here's my thing: one, I stand by Bowflex brand because most of the stuff that I've gotten from them have lasted forever. So if I pay that much money for a bench, which that bench was on sale for 300, I think it retails for 330. Um, I actually bought this one at BestBuy.com. They got them back in stock. They were sold out forever. They're sold out just like the dumbbells were that bench. Um, but I was able to get that bench on sale at uh, Best Buy. And so um, this is the Bowflex Select 5.1S stowable bench. Um, first thing I want to do is just show you pretty much how it looks when you actually stow it. Um, and I know it's kind of dark in here because the sun is, the way the lighting is outside. So let me move, I'm going to actually going to move this. The cool thing about this is it has a handle, it has wheels, you can roll it around pretty easy. And it just kind of, like I said, you can pretty much stow it against the wall. Um, I mean, it depends on what type of bed you have or what type of closet or storage space you have, but it's either going to store it this way, which I'll get out the way, which it stands kind of upright, um, or you can turn it around to where, uh, let me see if I can get some more light in here. I don't know if that helps or not. Yeah. Um, so it pretty much it stands up this way, or you can turn it around. And again, it has wheels and do it the other way. Now, 
a lot of people may say, okay, well, it's still pretty big. Yeah, it's a big bench. So it's not going to, like, it's not compact at all. I'm not going to say you can pretty much just store this way and no one's going to see it. It is a pretty big bench and it's heavy duty. This thing took a while to put together. When you buy it, it it's not that simple to put this thing together. It took me about, um, about an hour, uh, maybe 45 minutes to put it together, but it came in a lot of parts. But you can tell it's definitely a very, very sturdy bench, very heavy duty. It has a handle on it as well, so when you roll it around and carry it, you know, you got this handle on there uh, to lift and to roll. Now, there are reviews on this bench, um, a few videos, but one of the main things that I couldn't find when I was actually uh, trying to get some information on it was could you do sit ups on this thing? Um, one thing I don't like about it, and I'm going to show you the sit-up situation in a second, is it does have a gap here, a pretty large gap, uh, in between the seat and the backrest part. Um, it hasn't interfered with me doing any exercises or doing anything as of yet, but I have put like a towel or something in between there just in case, but it hasn't really affected anything. So even though it does look like a big gap, and it is a big gap, it hasn't affected me at all when it comes to doing any workouts or anything like that. I mainly use it for um, more like a bench press on the bench with the dumbbells and mainly for sit-ups. That's the main two thing, main two reasons why I got this bench. And so it's amazing that a lot of people who were doing reviews on this bench, no one sat down and actually did an actual sit-up. So here's pretty much how your uh, sit-ups are going to go. But yeah. As far as sit-ups go, you can go all the way back. Now that's not going all the way to the decline, but if I wanted to go all the way back, I could do that too. And the feet lock in pretty well, so that's not a problem. Um, and then like I said, you can actually put the seat up some more to even go further back in a decline position. As well. And so yeah, sit-ups aren't a problem on there as well. Uh, it hasn't been a problem for me. Um, again, it's just kind of like that gap you got to be careful of. And the seat only goes into two positions. The one that I'm showing you now and the one before. So it evens out level and then it goes up for more of a, uh, a dip or decline. And then the actual backrest part has five positions. This is all the way down. You just pull the uh, handle up and go up. So this is pretty much level. That's the third position. Fourth. Five. I'm sorry, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. Six positions, I'm sorry. And that's pretty much um, sitting up all the way straight at a 90 degree angle. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, very high quality, like I said. A lot of people may say, you know, is it worth $300? Well, in my opinion, yeah, because I know this thing will last at least a decade. I don't see it tearing up. The quality is really good. I don't know if that's real leather or not, but it just doesn't feel like something that's cheaply made or something that's going to tear apart or unravel or anything like that. Um, as far as any other exercises go anything you, you can normally use a bench for you can use one for this one so if it's bench pressing if it's um doing dips arm dips or if it's doing uh uh dumbbell raises or whatever the case may be you can you can use this bench for anything that you would normally use a, a workout bench for so very good quality um you can still search online best buy the the way that i got this one is i had to keep searching best buy because bowflex Dick Sporting Goods and Academy Sports, they aren't really getting any new inventory in. For whatever reason, Best Buy gets new shipments in like once every couple of weeks. 
But the thing is, is it would pop up, it would last for like an hour, and then they'll be sold out. And so um, you just got to keep kind of checking if you if you want one for retail price, or you can go online. But people have been selling these for like triple the price as well. I've seen these go up to like eight hundred dollars, you know, for this bench. So it's it's crazy. Um, but now that things are kind of trying to start to get back to normal, then maybe um, people will will start to go down on the prices if you have to pay resale prices for any workout gear. So other than that, guys, I just wanted to show you um, kind of, you know, the, the dumbbells and the bench, talk a little bit about it. Again, the only thing that I couldn't find online was actually people doing sit-ups because I didn't know the, how the actual bench was made and how it um, changed positions if you were able to do sit-ups. So you are able to do, do sit-ups with this particular bench. I do appreciate everyone's support. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be safe, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.